This is Francesco Abrazzino with the Uncensored Report. I want to talk about this guy you see on the screen, the fat little man. Um, maybe causing us a lot of heart, heartache soon with the uh, Agent Orange, they call him, Donald Trump. Uh, we got several things happening right now. We have the fleet out there. They've arrived in the Korean Peninsula. Peninsula, I can't even speak it. Um, on the coast there, you got the... Uh, the uh, triads there, you got the submarine, nuclear-capable submarine that we've sent there. And Kim Jong-un is uh, not happy. He's saying, look, I'm going to expand my military program, my nuclear program, my missile testing. We're going to take it up a notch. Um, Trump has told the Security Council, UN Security Council, that status quo has got to change. we got to get rid of it. we got to change things up. He wants new sanctions. He wants them placed against North Korea and the little fat man. Um, he's saying, look. I'm doubling down. We need to take military action. We need to take care of this issue. And you're seeing a lot of concerning moves out there. You're seeing China move hundreds of thousands of soldiers to their border. Some are saying to prevent the uh, onslaught of refugees. Others are saying well, maybe an attack. Who knows? Um, you know, during the Korean War, they came in and helped North Korea. We were fighting many of Chinese there. Um, Russia, they put hundreds of thousands on their border. Um, concerned about a lot of the efforts going on. You got Japan um, preparing for war. You got South Korea where Donald Trump says, look, we need a plan to evacuate 230,000 United States um, citizens. You got the administration meeting, which is happening today, today I think, Wednesday, right? Um, at the White House, 100 senators, they're going out there. They're getting brief on the severity of the program, of the uh, concerns that he has. Uh, with North Korea, North Korea, I'm sure Syria will fall into that too. Um, and it's so you got this essential intelligence briefing going on um, about this nuclear threat, the potential nuclear threat, and he's trying to convince congressional members that they may need to declare war on North Korea if he refuses to um, comply uh, with any new or existing sanctions and. Like I said, it's really getting concerning. I mean, when you got 150,000 China troops up on that border, I think Russia sent something like 60,000 and maybe more over there. It's just a matter of time before North Korea maybe becomes concerned. Maybe the little fat man gets concerned that he's going to be invaded and he does a preemptive strike. This little guy, he can't... Look, I just put out an article by WND where they talked about the fact that North Korea has EMP capabilities. A lot of people don't know what that is. I had to break it down to my daughter yesterday. Basically, he can explode this bomb above the United States, knock out our electrical grid, no problem. A lot of the experts say he's got that capability. We have that capability. Russia has that capability. He could put a nuclear bomb into a shipping container. It could end up on our West Coast. He's got 70 nuclear subs, or subs. He could, I'm not sure, but I believe he could put a nuclear bomb on one of those. His, uh, his intercontinental ballistic missiles could reach Japan. They could reach South Korea. We got 50,000 soldiers right on that border there, the um, North Korean border. And remember, we're still in a state of war. The, it, it's never been, we never declared an end to the war. It's basically been a peacetime a, a treaty. This North Korea situation, it's a different thing altogether. It's not like uh, dropping the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan and killing 100 ISIS uh, rebels. It's not like going to Syria and doing an airstrike. And I understand that Trump's trying to send a message. Sometimes I wonder if he's hyping this up more than it used to be. I mean, how did all of a sudden nuclear war, nuclear uh, capable North Korea become such a menace, such a huger issue than fighting ISIS, than a lot of the other things that are going on in society around us globally? Think about it. So there's a real possibility that North Korea could say, get nervous and say, that that's it, man. We got to pre do a preemptive strike. This guy's a nut job, the little fat man. And I don't know if people around the world understand the amount of casualties that could come from this. The widespread geopolitical and economic chaos that could be caused from this. And any attack, if, if there's not a preemptive attack by North Korea, any attack by the United States, by Donald Trump, upon North Korea, will ultimately lead to a, a wider conflict, a conflict involving Russia, a conflict involving China. China's already said, look, there's not going to be a regime change. 
and you're sort of tossed. They're sitting there saying, look, what, they're sending back to coal and um, basically imposing sanctions on Korea. They sent back a bunch of coal the other day and some other stuff. But the concern is, is will he sit there? Will China um, stop North Korea because they don't want a nuclear war on their peninsula? If we attack, if North Korea attacks us, where will China be? I mean, the Korean conflict, that, you know, we never won it. And back then, North Korea didn't have the nuclear bomb. So it's getting concerning there, folks. What say you? Where do you guys stand on this issue? This has been Francesco Albertino covering the little fat man with the Uncensored Report.